Hi, this is JLM with the next part of the Unreal Engine 4 inventory tutorial and this time we are really going to drop the items into our action bar. So this is where we stopped the last time we know after the drop operation which item was dragged but now we are really going to drop the item into a slot of the action bar. Now let's see how we can do this. I have one list with pickup actors but I need a second one for the action bar. This list will be filled in a new function that I'm going to add now and it should be callable from my blueprint. So I define it as blueprint callable and the function is named drop to action bar. As a parameter I use the pickup actor, this is the pickup or the item of the inventory that is actually tracked and an integer that defines the maximum items of the action bar. Then I copy this on update that I have for the inventory these are events that are fired when the inventory or the action bar have changed. So in this case new items have been added. And in the widget blueprints I bind these events and I update my UI when they occur. Now I implement the drop to action bar. This method is called when the drop operation is executed. I am lazy, I copy here the parameters from the declaration and the first thing I do is to check if the action bar is already full, okay? I have a maximum number of slots and when the size of the action bar list is equal to this max items, I just return from this method. Nothing is done. But in the else case, I'm going to remove this item I just dragged from the inventory list and add it to the action bar list. Okay, and after we did this, we fire the event on update action bar. We broadcast it, and as a parameter, I use the action bar list so that I can access this in my blueprint. And what I also do is after an item is added to the inventory, I broadcast the on update inventory event. And that's it for the C part. Now let's return to the action bar UI. This is where we stopped. I just printed out which item was dropped, but now I want to add it to my action bar. So I just defined a method for the player, and this is called drop to action bar, and I want to call this. So what I need is a reference to my FPS player. Okay, easy. Let's add a variable of this type and call this method. I name this variable FPS player and the type is FPS CPP character. Okay, then I drag this in as a getter and then I use this to call the method drop to action bar. It's really easy, right? We have everything that we need. And we just have to connect this. Here the pickup of the item drag drop operation as a parameter to the method drag to action bar and the last thing we need is an integer variable for the maximum number of items for the action bar. Okay, I will set this max items to 5 because in our widget blueprint we defined 5 slots. Great, and now let's switch to the event graph, to the constructor. And the first thing I do is to assign the FPS player to this variable we just defined. So I have to get the player character and cast it to my FPS player. Okay, and this result can be assigned to the FPS player character. Okay, now I have this, but what I also need is a list of inventory UI items. These are the inventory items that are added to my widget blueprint and I want to update these. I will do this in a for loop, but first I have to define 
this variable, this is an array of type inventory item. Okay, so how to fill this array with the items of my UI? This is this item 0 to item 4. Well, first drag this in as a setter. And then there's a nice helper node, which is called make array. Okay, and I define five items for this array. And then I fill this by assigning all the items that are defined in the UI of the widget blueprint. I hope you remember these are the inventory items that are added to the grid panel of the action bar. Okay, now I have an array of inventory items, which is awesome. Now I want to bind the event on update action bar. I use my FPS player again and type in bind and find bind update action bar. Here it is. Let's assign the pin and then I can bind the event. I drag this out and I can add an event and this is of type on update action bar. And you can see it has a parameter and this is a list of pickup actors which are the items that are contained in the action bar. We broadcasted this event, you remember, from C++ and we give the parameter list, the action bar list, into the broadcast call. And this is why we can access it here. And the next logic, this for loop in which we bind the pickup actor items to the UI items we already had for the inventory. And I think we can switch to the inventory event graph and just copy this for loop press ctrl c then switch to the action bar and ctrl v and paste it in and reuse it okay and i think that's pretty much it There's just one thing left that I have to do, and this is calling the method update inventory, but only in the case if this on update action bar event is fired. Because only in this case the item is removed from the inventory list and added to the action bar list. And by calling update inventory, the inventory UI will be notified about these changes. Okay, guys, it's time to test it. First collect the gold coin, then drag it to the action bar. Hey, nice. Now collect the silver coin. And do the same for this item. Well, in my opinion, this was a nice example for working with blueprints and C++ in combination. And in the next one, I will show you how to actually use these items and how to show this inventory dynamically. If you liked the video, then please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when new videos are available. Thanks a lot for watching, for your support, and I hope you come back soon to JNM.